Hey guys, thank you for joining me and welcome back. I hope you all are doing well today. So today in this video, I'm going to create three vases for you. They're going to look uh, the same really, but the decoration is going to be a little bit different. So I'm going to be using some rubber bands to create a unique design on the vase. And I'm going to be painting certain areas on the vase. So right here with this vase, now my vases I picked up from the Dollar Tree and these are the larger size vases. I've already placed a rubber band here in this uh, pattern, kind of high on one side and low on the opposite side. And I'm going to uh, use a little bit of paint and paint underneath the rubber band. So I'm going to get started and what I'm going to do now is just to put the rubber bands in the same position on the other two vases. So when putting on the rubber bands, I have to make sure that they are in the same position as the first vase that I showed you. And I'm just going to make any necessary adjustments with my fingernail. My fingernail is enough just to push the rubber band down to the position where I need it. So I'm just doing a little bit of a comparison here and I'm just going to continue and I'm going to do the same thing to the third face. So now we're ready to do some painting and I'm going to use the treasured gold paint in platinum. I'm going to shake it up a little bit and I'm going to put some in a cup. So before I begin, I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol just to clean the vase. And I'm going to just clean the area where I'm going to paint. And again, I'm going to be painting below the rubber band. I'm going to put a thin coat of paint on the vase and I'm going to make sure that my paint lines are moving in one direction. And I'm going to continue all the way around making sure that this is a thin coat and I'm going to do the same to the other two vases. I'm going to allow them all to dry for about two hours and then I'm going to paint them again. Guys, I want to take a moment and thank you so much for clicking on this video today and joining me today. Please don't forget to take the opportunity to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to thumbs up the video. So before I take off the rubber bands, I'm going to score the bottom of the, the underside of the rubber band with this crafting tool just to make sure that the paint doesn't peel off while I remove the rubber band. And as you can see, the lines are clean. Not exactly straight as I like them, but that's not going to matter because I'm going to cover up the edge. And I'm just going to do the same thing to the other two. These are the three self-adhesive diamond wraps that I'm going to use. I picked these up from Amazon and I absolutely love them guys. You get four in a package, but these are the most unique in the package. 
I'll leave a link for everything that I can find in the description section. So if you're interested, guys, don't forget to check there. So I've decided to place this rhinestone pin at the lowest part of the vase. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my hot glue to do that and I'm going to set that into place. And guys, I absolutely love the way this came out. This is so beautiful. I love the way this looks with the silver paint and the clear diamond wrap. Beautiful. So I'm just going to continue with the other two vases. Finally, I'm going to use this metallic silver marker. I'm just going to color the top edge of the vase just to finish it off really nicely. I'm going to do this to all three vases. This is the finished project, guys. All three came out absolutely beautiful. They look the same, but yet they're different. I absolutely love, love, love the way these look. So guys, let me know what you think in the comment section. And I want to thank you so, so much for joining me today. I do appreciate it. Please don't forget to thumbs up the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And you all stay well, stay safe, and stay blessed. And I will see you at the next video. Bye-bye.